If you color your hair, you'll want to pay close attention to this next story. A New Orleans researcher is calling for some hair products to be taken off the market. Janet Witters is here with that. Surprisingly enough, the problem is lead. One researcher says some products contain 100 times what they should, so consumers beware. It's tonight, six on your side. <laughs> For many, this is a monthly routine to retain the appearance of youth, vitality, beauty. But researchers at Xavier University say some hair products have an ugly side. Specifically, they're concerned about products like these that contain lead, a substance that when ingested can cause learning disabilities, even brain damage. The recommendation is to remove these products containing lead acetate from the shelves. Dr. Milkey's findings are featured in this month's Journal of the American Pharmaceutical Association. According to his test, this bottle of Grecian Formula 16, this Lady Grecian Formula, and this Grecian Foam contain about 3,000 micrograms of lead per application. This cream and this hair coloring, even more. Dr. Melky says an adult can only safely ingest about 40 micrograms a day. Children can tolerate only about six. Uh, this would easily uh, spike the blood and it'd be a, a large increase if a child should lick this or in any way, you know, get it into the hand-to-mouth activity. The problem is not that lead is absorbed through the scalp. Dr. Milky is more concerned that lead acetate is put directly on your hands and can easily be spread from the bottle to the sink handles to the soap and then could easily get in your mouth. But manufacturers insist their products are safe. Comb, the maker of Grecian formula, gave us this statement, saying lead acetate was approved as safe by the Food and Drug Administration, and that their own testing showed no increase in human lead levels. They even supplied us with their own researcher. I don't think it offers any new insight into whether or not children or adults using the product actually receive a dose, and if they do, if it's a dose that's of a magnitude that would cause toxicologic concern. So if you're concerned about lead, here's a suggestion. The researchers here at Xavier also tested several other hair products and found that many do not contain lead. So look down the list of ingredients, and if you don't see the words lead acetate, it doesn't contain lead. But Milky hopes soon you won't have to read the label. Take it off the shelves. It doesn't need to be there. Now the Food and Drug Administration says they'll take a look at Milky's report, but in the past they have said that lead acetate is safe. So we'll have to wait and see what happens with this story. Yeah, okay? it'll be interesting. Shall be interesting.